Breaking news, NYY News, Felix suspended by Major League Baseball for tampering. You know why, Yankees fans? Because I have new inside information concerning the Manny Machado sweepstakes. Here's my notes from Twitter if you don't follow me. Note number one, Manny will make his decision next week. Note number two, the Yankees peddled the hustle story to get guys like Heyman and Curry to use as bargaining chips with his agent. Note three, Yanks also have the upper hand on Lozano because he is in debt to A-Rod. Note 4. A-Rod was a major investor in Lozano's agency when he left the Beverly Hills Sports Commission to start his own agency. Note number 5. A-Rod is the reason Lozano landed Manny in yonder. Note number 6. Yanks front office was very impressed with Manny and his wife. Found him to be very mature especially considering the hustle comments. Note number seven, Yanks are not going to offer him the most money, but their offer will get more competitive next week when Manny is ready to make his decision. Note number eight, Hal actually likes Machado a lot and is hurt by the perception that he is cheap. He actually cares a lot about winning, but wants to do it in a smart way. Note number nine, Machado was a big reason Yankees quickly locked up CeCe. Yankees were going to bring him back anyway, but Manny has a ton of respect for CeCe and is actually a bigger part of the Yankees meeting than a lot of people know. Note number 10, White Sox only brought in Yonder and Jay to make Manny feel closer to home. The real competition is between the Yankees and Phillies because of their proximity to Redacted, where Manny Machado's family lives which is primarily in the Tri-State area. He has a whole bunch of family from his mother's side that resides here. Note number 11, the theory that the Yankees have a handshake agreement with Manny is false. They do not. Manny has not decided as far as teams know. Note number 12, Manny's decision will come down to a combination of money and proximity to family. Note number 13, the Yankees are actually impressed that Machado is honest enough to admit to not hustling. However, they think he would need some media training. Last and final note, note number 14, nobody knows where Manny will sign because Manny Machado himself does not know where he will sign. And no folks, I am not pulling a Tyler Durden. That came from a person that I know for a fact is actually close to Manny or has ties to the Yankees. Also, you have seen what I report on this channel is months ahead of the pack. I have been talking about Nolan Arenado on this channel for quite some time now. I told you guys the Yankees were interested in Nolan over a month ago or close to two months ago. Now everybody's picking it up. Here's the real truth about Nolan Arenado and the Yankees. This specifically was told by the same person to me. Whatever the situation is, Miguel Andahor is not going to be a Yankee. The Yankees do not feel comfortable with his defense, and the Yankees are going to upgrade third base defensively however they can. Okay, Nolan Arenado is the Yankees' fallback plan. Their main priority is signing Manny Machado. Everything that you're seeing is to keep Manny's price low. But if you guys know me, you know that I'm a huge Nolan Arenado fan. I think, really, he's one of the greatest third basemen of all time, and he's only been playing the league for, what, seven years, six or seven years? He has won the right number of six years. And in those six seasons, he has won six straight gold gloves. Also, a two-time platinum glove winner. So, if Manny Machado decides to sign with another baseball team, he primarily prefers the Yankees, by the way. Also, I would put the Phillies in the lead for Manny Machado. The White Sox, in my opinion, are last on Manny's list. Phillies are number one for the simple fact that his family lives close. And they're probably going to offer him the most money. And I put them in the lead because it's going to come down to what the Yankees do. Okay? So let's say Nolan Arenado was your fallback guy. Not a really bad fallback guy. And if you ask me, comparing him to Manny Machado, I mean, hmm, you can make the argument that Nolan Arenado is a little bit better or Manny Machado is a little bit better. You can't really say this one is better than the other one because really you don't know. You can't really tell because they're both phenomenal players. But Manny Machado has the advantage because he has done everything in the L East. So let's say that's your fallback guy. Nolan Arenado is going to be old 
in 2019 over 20 million dollars 24 25 something like that he's going through a arbitration case so he's going to make a lot of money so from a rocky standpoint which they love nolan arenado why not you could see it as them getting obviously miguel andahor back at half a million dollars per season cheap uh andahor doesn't become a free agent until 2024 and trading away Arenado this season because next season he's going to become a free agent and obviously he's going to be looking for $30 million per season. I mean, could you blame him? He's one of the best in the game. So from a business standpoint, this makes sense for the Rockies. Obviously, it doesn't make sense for the Yankees. You're subtracting really a guy that's not making anything for a player that's going to be making 20 to $25 million per season. But this just proves that the Yankees are valuing defense more than anything and also Nolan Arenado in my opinion is that guy is a beast okay so he's worth every penny so before Yankees fans get a little iffy this talk specifically is designed to keep Manny Machado's price low okay but this has been discussed reportedly by the Yankees as late as last season's deadline just picture Nolan Arenado as um, Neo from The Matrix when Neo discovers his talents. That's Nolan Arenado. So if you miss out on Manny Machado, you better guarantee the Yankees fan base that you're going to make a run for Nolan Arenado. Just to save face. Hey, just saying. So Yankees fans, leave your opinions in the comment section below. NYNews.com has been redesigned. Check it out. And like always, this has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I will check you out next time.